thing about learning is that no one can take it away from you. With this thought, a very good morning to you all. Today I am here, Renu Rai, your biology teacher, with some experiment related with chapter nutrition in plants. So I hope you all are good, doing well. Stay like, stay at home, stay safe. In my previous lecture, you have learnt about insectivorous plant, how soil is replenished into the soil, a uh, symbiotic relationship or symbiotic nutrition. So. We are going to know about certain experiment that you know about photosynthesis process. Everyone, I I think I uh, know that you people come to know about what is photosynthesis. S uh, to prove that the raw materials like uh, you know that for photosynthesis, what are the raw materials? Carbon dioxide, sunlight, water and chlorophyll. So here I am going to and I am trying to show you uh, or prove you that sunlight is necessary or important for photosynthesis. So what are the, exp uh, this is about experiment or regarding this experiments, what are the requirements? So here are the requirements. What we have to take? A potted plant. A potted plant means the plant which is uh, in your garden, uh, it is in pot which is called gamla and petri dish, a boiling tube, Alcohol, it is of 70%, iodine solution, Bunsen burner, forceps, beaker, water, dropper and black paper. Now, we are going to know about the procedure. What are the procedure? So, first what we have to do in procedure, take a potted plant and place it to the dark room for 22 hours. What we will have to do? We have to take a potted plant, that means a pot with the plant, a green plant, and place that plant to the dark room for 72 hours. Okay? And the next step is, after 72 hours, select a leaf of a plant and cover it with the black paper, both the sides. Like what we have to do in the next step, we have to take or choose a leaf from that plant which you have kept for 72 hours in a dark room. So from that plant you have to take out a leaf and cover it that so do not take out you have to select a leaf within the plant and cover that leaf with a black paper that means not the whole leaf half of the portion you uh, covered with the black paper both the side upper side and the lower side and then what is the next step keep the potted plant with covered leaf in sunlight for few hours now once again what we have to do we have to keep that potted plant that you have covered with the black paper that you have covered that leaf with the uh, black paper and keep that potted plant in sunlight for a few hours maybe two three hours and what is the next step? After a few hours, detach the covered leaf from the plant and remove the black paper. So what will be the next step? The next step is we have to take out or detach the leaf or pluck the leaf from the plant and take out or remove that black paper which you have covered that leaf. What is the next? Then boil the leaf in water for a few minutes now what we'll have to do we have to take a bunsen burner that is a lamp a burner uh, on that burner we have to keep a beaker with water and we have to boil that leaf for few minutes in the water and what are next then Again boil the leaf in alcohol in a water bath till it becomes dull white due to the removal of chlorophyll. Now after boiling the leaf in water, why we have to boil the leaf in alcohol? Okay and we cannot, we, what we have to do for that? We have to take a test tube, keep that leaf into the test tube and also pour 
70 percent of alcohol into the test tube and then we have to take a beaker and with water that is called wa water bath and then we placed that beaker with water on buns buns and burner and then uh, allow it to boil then we place test tube into that uh, beaker because we cannot uh, directly uh, keep alcohol to the burner because the ignition or uh, temperature of the alcohol or sorry uh, the ignition temperature of alcohol is very low so it catches fire and maybe it becomes an accident so we could not or it may also damage the leaf so if we have to we cannot uh, keep the alcohol directly on the flame so and why do we have to uh, boil the leaf in alcohol as we know that green color will not show any change of color during experiment so first what we have to do we have to remove the chlorophyll present in the leaf okay so that is why we boil the leaf in alcohol now what the next wash the leaf with water and put a drop of iodine solution now again we have to what we have to do we have to take out that leaf from that alcohol and we have to wash that leaf through a running water then keep take up a, a petri dish keep that leaf into the petri dish and pour or put a drop of iodine solution now what will be your observation so move to the observation what is our observation the that it is the portion of leaf which was covered does not change color while the other portion which was uncovered turns blue black color so why is it happen so what is that this is our observation so what is the conclusion uh, first i would like to uh, explain you about the observation during observation we have observed that when we put iodine solution in uh, to the leaf uh, the part which has covered does not show any kind of change but the portion which was exposed to the sunlight they shows or they uh, shows a uh, reaction or they shows change of color so when we put iodine solution on that place on that leaf uh, uh, the part which is exposed to the sun they turns blue black color okay so what is the conclusion so the conclusion is that the portion of the leaf which was not covered receive all the factors necessary for the photosynthesis therefore that part prepare food whereas the one which was uncovered uh, sorry which was covered could not manufacture food so it means the presence of a star turns the blue black in color now i will explain you this conclusion the portion of the leaf which was not covered that means ki the portion which was exposed to the sunlight they receive sunlight all the necessary factor which is responsible for photosynthesis like carbon dioxide like sunlight they have chlorophyll and they get water and all so all these things which they uh, that part receives so food is prepared and food is prepared in the form of starch but what about what about the uh, the covered part the covered part they do not get sunlight they get carbon dioxide they get water but they do have chlorophyll but what happens they do not get sunlight which is the energy which is a fuel for photosynthesis process so they could not get sunlight so that is why they could not manufacture food if food is not prepared that iodine solution will not change any color that means kiss when we test starch with iodine solution it turns blue and black color so that shows sunlight is very important for photosynthesis now some questions arise why do we need to bleach the leaf bleach means to discolor uh, discoloration of leaf so uh, uh, the earlier i said that green color does not show any change of color during experiment so we have to first 
bleach or discolor the leaf that is why we uh, boil the leaf into the alcohol so alcohol is actually working as a bleach okay now like the next question why do why do not uh, why do we not boil the leaf with uh, alcohol directly on the flame because it the ignition temperature of the alcohol is very low if we uh, uh, place that uh, beaker or uh, test tube directly on the flame it catches fire very easily that is why we do not have to we uh, uh, do not boil the leaf with alcohol directly on the flame now i would like to show you the diagram and explain you again sorry okay now one by one i have i just wanted to tell you this is a potted plant okay this is a potted plant uh, which is uh, kept under uh, a, a dark room in seven, for 72 hours then it uh, again that plant will expose to sunlight for few hours then what we'll have to do when uh, we have to choose a leaf and then we cover that uh, uh, part of the leaf with black paper okay so like this you have to cover and then after few hours what we'll have to do we pluck that means we pluck the detach the leaf from the potted plant and we have to boil this is bunsen burner okay this is bunsen burner and here this is the flame so we kept on that uh, we keep that beaker on that flame inside that beaker water and leaf is there so we first we boil the water and then what we'll have to do the next again we have to boil the leaf in alcohol so you can see here this is the beaker which is on the flame this is inside the beaker there is water and this is the test tube and this test tube having leaf and alcohol inside it so we could not we cannot uh, put the test tube directly on the burner with alcohol like this we have to boil so after boiling that what will have to do the next we have to take out the leaf from test tube again wash it with the water and put it in a petri dish okay so what is petri dish this is a petri dish okay this petri dish what we'll have to do we keep that leaf over here okay we keep that leaf over here sorry i just want to i just forget to tell you about before going to boil that leaf we have to remove that black paper okay we have to remove that black paper then we have to boil the uh, leaf into the water so the last one is we have to take a petri dish and we keep that leaf in petri dish this is a dropper dropper like uh, you have uh, maybe you have taken cough syrup sometimes uh, the cough syrup is given uh, by your parents by your doctor with a dropper so that is called dropper so dropper we keep uh, we take a drop of uh, iodine solution and then we put few drops of iodine solution on the leaf what we see that these two part these parts turns blue black color but this part which is do not show any color this part which was covered do not show any change of color it means that uh, exposed part uh, receives sunlight so they prepare food this covered part does not receive sunlight so they could not prepare food so that is how we can prove uh, that sunlight is important for photosynthesis i think you must have understand what i am telling you what i explain you about the experiment so go through this uh, uh, video again if you could not understand uh, repeat it again and again then you can understand so thank you very much for being with me